I feel like we shouldn't start the podcast without mentioning what's obvious right now. What's going on? Jason's aging at a crazy rate. No, that's not it. Oh, my God. That was twice. The cold <laughs> open and again, yeah, you hit twice. me. Wow. Um, no, um, I guess with everything with going on with the Black Lives Matter and the George Floyd stuff and all that, I'm not really good at talking about issues like this. I don't know why, because I feel like every time I mention it, I feel like I'm a toddler trying to explain my thoughts. Sure. But... um. And you're stupid. <laughs> and I'm stupid. But I think what the obvious thing to take away from all of this is what happened with George Floyd is completely, completely unacceptable and inexcusable and absolutely mind-blowing. It just doesn't really, I don't know, especially when you watch that video, which I recommend people, I don't know, I don't know if you should or you shouldn't, I don't know, maybe it'll spark something in you to, to protest or to, uh, you know, reach out to people, I don't know. But I, I the video just makes you feel such bizarre emotions it's such a weird thing to watch and experience and i did i do say this i do think that yeah you know, reg regardless if you saw the video or not i think everybody is more or less on the same page now um which is that there needs to be changes made and it's ridiculous that it's taken this long and uh, some people are angry i mean a lot of people are angry to the point where you know they want to loot and destroy stuff and i think you know those people have the right to be angry um, but you also have the right to be safe. So when you're going out and you're protesting, which I really do think you should do because, you know, as much as it is important for me to voice my opinion, like on my socials and to donate and do all that, um, every little part counts in a movement that's as big as this or as big as it, this has to be. Um, so even if you're, you know, not like not donating or even if you're not doing anything like that, like going out on the street or talking to a friend or educating someone around you has such a grand effect, um, on this whole thing. And yeah, uh, I just want to make it clear that we stand with the people that maybe feel like they haven't been represented and that feel like they haven't had a voice. And, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. See, I'm not good at putting it into words, <laughs> but, um, that's pretty good. Thanks, man. That's pretty good. No, and I just want to say, too, I mean, personally, I stand with the protesters. I stand with Black Lives Matter, and I donated last night. Um, I saw the protests right. yesterday. I donated, too, and I, I hate that I have to say that. I know. I hate that I have to say it, too. Right, yeah. But I don't, don't want to say that. To. You and have to. People are tweeting it. at me like, he should open his fucking wallet. I I did. <laughs> But I, I did. I, I I donated a lot. But okay, <laughs> I, I probably donated oh, no, more I than donated you. More. No, I probably <laughs> donated more. How much did you donate? I'll say it at the same time. One. No, two. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say how much. Say I donated. at the same time. Okay, go. One, two, three. Twenty five thousand. Yes. <laughs> uh, what'd you say? Fifty thousand. Fifty. Fifty thousand dollars. No, of course I can't fucking afford fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I was gonna I, say no, but I did donate, and and yeah, and I I think that it is. It's time for change, and and something. This is finally. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of horrible incidents over the last five, ten years, where you know of police brutality, and you know people are finally standing up, and it seems like this is going to do something. And it and, does. And we need to get bad cops off the force. I've had a couple conversations with people where they where they brought up they were like, okay, but I don't understand why people are looting. I don't understand why people are like being so violent about this. Um, and at first I really didn't get it, but I, th I think after talking to a couple more people, um, I'm starting to understand it. First off, not everybody is violent. And a lot of the people that are being violent and that are looting are people that really just want to be violent and loot in the first place. And now they have an excuse to, um, but even, even if you are like part of the movement and you are looting, like th this is a tweet that I feel like summed it up perfectly. Um, this woman tweeted, how does looting, rioting and destroying your own community bring justice for anyone? And this girl quote tweeted saying, IDK, but they tried peacefully kneeling and y'all had a problem with that too. Well, that that always made me extremely upset when they would get upset at Colin uh, Kaepernick for taking a kneel during the national anthem. Right. I never understood why that was a problem. You know, okay, who cares? The guy wants to take a, take a knee. Bottom line is take care of each other. Be careful out there. And, you know, you don't have to go outside and make a difference. You don't have to go protest. You can even informing a friend of what's going on educating them is very important be safe and i should say this for my fellow undocumented illegals like me um if you do get arrested there is a number you can call 310-313-3700 i know nobody's listening to this in jail 
But if you have a friend that got arrested and that is DACA, that is something you can reach out to. It's the National Lawyers Guild Los Angeles. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to start the podcast now. What's up, guys? Welcome to Views, the podcast where, guys, Jason just heard 47, which gives, gives us a couple more years couple with him. A couple years left, yeah. A couple years left. <laughs> uh, let's enjoy this podcast and just pretend it's probably our last. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Roll intro music. <laughs> Right before this started, Jason and I found an owl outside with a broken leg. Mm -hmm. um, so now Animal Control is going to come and pick up the owl. We're basically heroes once again. I yeah, just want to start this podcast off with just saying the heroic deeds that have been accomplished off camera. You maybe didn't witness all the help that we've been doing to this owl, but yeah. it has been done. And I made to be sure to bring it up on this podcast in audio form. Yeah. Just so you know hey, what a hero I am. Can I tell you I something am. surprising about David that I learned? What? So when I moved in... <laughs> You know, there would be centipedes and spiders all over the fucking house. And um, one day I learned that David actually does not kill any insects. He, just like me, puts them in a plastic cup <laughs> and lets them go outside. Well, I've just always been told that it's bad, bad news and to like, kill any I animal. don't know anybody that does that except what? for me. No, a lot of people do that. It's, I don't know it's definitely any... a European thing, too. Mm -hmm. Do you? If you see a spider in your house, what do you do? Uh, I move to kill it. <laughs> And then it uh, disappears. And then my kid, yeah. <laughs> and then my kids go, no, 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 don't kill it. And I go, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I put, put it outside. It's just such a bad idea to kill it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't kill it. Yeah, what's the point? I don't. I, don't I, I, I think fifty percent of people don't no, kill. I, I've insects. never seen anybody do what you do ever. <laughs> really? Yes, yeah, dead ass. I've never seen anybody. I, I always thought I was like, man, I'm like a good person for doing this. It's shit. not even like a good person thing. It's like a superstitious thing. I like how you guys think that this owl is gonna live. Ilya was like, well, so someone's gonna come and like you know fix the owl up. The owl's fucking done. What are you talking about? I mean, I had this whole experience. I've told you this story before with the deer in my house. Yeah, you've had a deer inside your house? We had a, yeah. <laughs> we had a deer in our backyard with a broken leg. And then the woman's like, oh, yeah, right. they're going to come and right. rehabilitate it. And then they send this guy over and he brings his gun out. Oh, my and God. He, and he just puts the gun right up to the deer's head. And I go, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? And he goes, I'm going to fucking shoot it in the head. Oh, no and way. I go, wait, wait, wait. The woman on the phone said you're going to come rehabilitate no it. Way. And he goes, rehabilitate it? Where? Where, where the fuck do you think I'm going to It's broken. But I feel like a deer and an owl are different. Yeah. Cause, right. You know, Cause a deer like, might be. Why? Well, when a horse breaks its leg, they kill it. Right. They put it down. Like, that's like a thing. I hope I'm not making this fucking shit up. What's the owl going to do? Well, that's like in racing, I think, right? No. Right. I, I don't know. I think it's in general. I think it's it just causes the horse too much pain. For it to the like, horse can't do anything. I mean, I've literally yet. seen TV shows where they're like repairing birds, like birds, like I think birds legs. are different because right. they, they just have the, you just got to fix the legs. What doctor in this state of the world right now is going to take right. a whole day okay, to I repair agree. that owl? Who, who, who? <laughs> no, no pun intended. <laughs> There's no way you did that on purpose. <laughs> I swear right. to god, you did that on accident. I did that on accident. No way, you just did that. I who, did. Who it, was it was subconscious, it was subconscious. <laughs> I don't know. Well, listen, <laughs> meanwhile, the owl's in the box behind us. Someone's yeah. taking it off. Animal now. control told us to put it in a box, right? And I asked if I can keep it. And she was, she almost said yes. <laughs> the first she, lady did. The first, 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 she was like, no, that's not a good idea. And then I, and then I lied to her and I was like, no, he's really chill. He likes us. <laughs> And she was like, "Really? Because usually when you find an owl on the side of the road, they like they'll hiss at you and like stuff and like perk yeah. up." Uh -huh. and, I, and I liked her, even though he was like really aggressive with us. I was like, "No, no, he's super cool." Just, just to be clear, like I'm petting him right now. Just to be clear, Ilya was the one who put the owl in the box, not David. So don't let, don't take all the glory here. David sat there with his camera, <laughs> no, his I, camera phone for TikTok, because now he shoots on TikTok. I was very close. I, I got right in. I don't know. Regardless, we're gonna try to save the owl. I love that it's Taylor's birthday today, and it's just been all about this owl. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. we, we woke up, I woke up early this morning. I baked cupcakes and a you cake baked, for Taylor. That's so nice. Did you bake those like, cupcakes for Taylor, or did you bake I them, baked for, them for, <laughs> for fucking Taylor. Okay. Just really? Really? Yes. Because they, they look like your favorite cupcakes. <laughs> no, they look Confetti like... Confetti cupcakes with chocolate icing? That's literally your favorite cake. No, Natalie. it's not. Yeah, why it you, is? Why? No, it's not. Taylor, what's your favorite cake? Oh, um, I love vanilla, just like David. Uh, We've programmed her right. <laughs> was Taylor answer? Anyway, vanilla. I like whatever David likes, vanilla. And then when Taylor came into the room this morning, David called her into the room and we had balloons. Yeah, we, we all sung to her. Hey, why uh, am I the only one sitting on a fucking towel, man? Dude. What the hell? <laughs> I sit on the couch today and David goes, Taylor, get Jason a towel. His ass is all sweaty. <laughs> yeah. Natalie's not on a towel. 
Ilya's not on a towel. I have to sit on a beach towel. Yeah, Jason. It's humiliating. Jason, okay, so what, I, was, I, I was having a meeting before Jason came over for like a product that's like pretty like high-end quality stuff with like a guy who's like a very high-end guy. And Jason walks <laughs> in. He's got fucking basically a barbecue sauce stain on his shirt. He's like super sweaty, like literally looks like he was just pushed out of an asshole. <laughs> and his entire backside, he's wearing cargo shorts, but the entire backside of his cargo shorts is like super dark brown because oh. it, it- That's because I was hiking with Todd and Jeff and they, they went down a really steep portion and I had to go down on my butt. No, Jay, yeah, it was bro. wet. Your butt was wet. Because it's, it's sweaty too, so it's sweat and dirt. It's not poop. Exactly. <laughs> it's sweat and dirt. So that's why we gave him the beach towel to sit on the couch. Oh, man, whatever. So humiliating. Yeah, it was It was embarrassing how I called it out in front of everybody. And I was like, get Jason a beach towel. His ass is wet. That is That, that was the wrong way to say it. I should have said it quieter. Hey, thanks for coming to my birthday party of for course. 20 minutes. Oh, here it goes. And then leaving. Here that was goes. great, David. Yeah. Really, really. Why come at all? First of all. Why come a, at all? It wasn't a birthday party. It, well, it, it, yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. It is. Yeah. It's a birthday weekend. It was you and your kids. And I was going to stop the by. The day after say, my birthday. Yeah, I was going to stop by and say hello with Ilya. So we stopped by. We you drove didn't, by. You didn't even was, let me know you were coming. Yeah, because it was a surprise. Oh, no, you, didn't, surprise. you didn't say surprise. Yeah, I literally honked my horn. I said, surprise, bitch. <laughs> oh, you and did? you literally <laughs> went, oh, it's a surprise. That's what you said out loud. <laughs> I, I invited Natalie to come up to yeah. hang out with Marnie because I knew they'd get along, which was so awkward, by the way, after you left. Natalie and Todd talking to Marnie. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah. What did I say, Nat? I said something like. Uh, oh, you're well, like, so. Natalie, have you ever wanted to ask Marnie anything? And then I was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> and, then, and then I think Todd was like. Did you just think that they have the same personality that they get along? Um, no, I might get along with Marnie just fine. Right. Yeah, no, they get along. Great. They actually do have the same personality. They are very similar. Cold. Yeah, they're very cold. Yeah. yeah. Not cold. <laughs> and withholding of love. <laughs> <laughs> now, you do have so the same personality true. because you have that personality where. Um, I can definitely be a bitch, but like I can also be the other side. You can. <laughs> so like when I used to. <laughs> When I when I first Sorry. started dating Marnie, <laughs> I had like my whole group of friends that I would introduce to her and they would they would be like, I don't think Marnie likes me. I don't think Marnie likes me. And then she would do this thing where like it took and then once she warmed up, they'd be like, oh, my God, they felt really special. Mm -hmm. But it was like, no, you could have just been nice in the beginning. You know what I mean? Like I'm vouching for these people. You could have just been warm <laughs> to them from the start. So, do you know what I mean? Right. Like well, if you withhold, if you withhold attention, stop looking at your fucking phone. If you withhold, cut that out, Joe. <laughs> Keep it in. If you withhold your love from somebody, then when you give it to them, they're like, "Oh my god!" Right? It's like special. Sure, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. No. Well, whatever. I, no, uh, yeah, definitely. Thanks for coming to my birthday party for twenty fucking minutes. Okay. What's the problem with that? It's this. It's just. It's just lousy. It just sucks. Should we not come? Huh? Next time, would you rather me not come or come for a little bit? Well, no, I'll take you for a little bit. Yeah, that's. I thought that was great. I but, but why can't you just? Because right when you left, I said to Natalie, I was like, we were walking on the beach. It was so nice. I was like, why does he do that? Why can't he just vibe? Why can't he just hang out for a little bit? I don't know. I just, I, 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 I okay. Did it bother you? I was because I was wondering this. I was like, I wonder if it's gonna bother him more that he thinks that it's bothering me that I only stopped by for a little bit and I drove all that way or does it bother you more that I just didn't stay in general to hang out with you? Oh, I don't. I know you're not worried about it. Oh, I, know, okay. I know that's what you like to do. Because I, I, cause I, yeah, it was an hour and a half drive to stop by and we stopped by for like 12 minutes. But like, <laughs> but like I enjoy driving. So I did it for the, for the ride. I know, but I just wish you had stayed. That's I would have stayed, but I, I got there and it, and it was... It was a lot more family than I thought. Like, it was like this small house, and it was like... Yeah, but you're the guy that can make that fun. Right, and I You just, have that personality. You're, I, the, you're the one that can, like, break the ice and be like, oh, Marnie, are you drunk? Which she was. <laughs> or, you know, oh, Jason. And then David said something really funny, like, we were out on the beach, and, and oh, David was looking at the bedrooms, which were really close together, and David was like, so have you been fucking Marnie this weekend, or what? <laughs> <laughs> the bedrooms were so small. I know, I, I was were. like, you guys are definitely hooking up again. <laughs> Where were you sleeping? Yeah, I was also wondering that, because there was only two Bedroom. I slept with Wyatt in the same bed, oh. and Charlie and Marnie slept in the other room in the two beds. You don't, you weren't just like you guys didn't both get drunk and just like hey let's just try sleeping together. We didn't have sex. We were married, David. <laughs> <laughs> so why do we do it now? Right? I Does she still have a boyfriend? Yeah, she has a boyfriend. He's stuck in England. It sucks. Uh, Feel bad for them. That sucks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, I understand. I get it. Yeah, it's what a, it's who you are. I'm it's sorry. Fine. I, I didn't. I, I'm, I'm surprised. I even asked Natalie. I was like, Natalie, was Jason upset? Mm -hmm. Was Jason upset that I left? And she was like, Yeah, he was all right. I don't know. I felt bad. I felt bad, but I, I, well, I also needed to leave. <laughs> Jay, what interferes with your happiness? Is something preventing you from achieving your goals? No. I can't think of anything. Okay. Well, okay. 
Well, if you're right. You, no, actually, I do need help. Okay, good, because this is an ad for BetterHelp. BetterHelp okay. will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can connect in a safe and private online environment, and you can start communicating in under 24 hours. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling. Send a message to your counselor anytime, and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions all without ever having to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. Wow. They offer licensed professional counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, relationships, grief, self-esteem, LGBT matters, and many more. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash views. Join over 800,000 people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash views. Uh, you know our friend Joe, and we always say, because his girlfriend's really good looking. Oh my God, you heard this? Yeah. Did you hear so it? fucking funny. So funny. What? Yeah, Jason makes this joke about Joe. So Joe, he edits our podcast. He's a really, really pretty girlfriend. And Joe's like a... Joe, you he's know, Joe, like, he's the okay. best way to describe him is Joe. He's it's not average like average so, Joe. He, uh, yeah. he, okay, the best <laughs> way to say he's dating out of his league. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and Jason makes these jokes. <laughs> Jason always goes, ah, too bad Joe's girlfriend is blind because there's no way she can see who she's dating because she's so, so much hotter than Joe is. And Elise, his girlfriend streams on Twitch and literally there was a comment the other day like, how is she streaming if she's blind? <laughs> oh my <laughs> she God. She plays the game so well for a blind person. Yeah, and oh someone was being God. serious. Like we mentioned this on the oh podcast like a couple months ago. And someone has gone a couple months thinking Joe's girlfriend has been blind <laughs> oh God, because so because she's dating Joe. And Joe called me yesterday and he's like, dude, people on the stream think Annalise is blind and she's some magnificent gamer. And I was like, dude, lean into that. Lean into that. She could be the first blind gamer. They walk, They live really close to my house and they walk their dog over. And I, I saw Annalise last night and I was like, Annalise, you made it up the hill. Okay. Did you hold Joe's arm? Or? <laughs> oh, that's so great. It's so great that oh you live God. a full life. <laughs> Jay, if I move, would you consider buying this house? Yeah, I would love to. If, uh, but then you still have the same problem of fucking people showing up. No. If, well, if, they, if I move in, I think they'll stop coming. <laughs> they'll just come. Hey, da is David? And they're like, no, he moved. <laughs> when and I was then like, it's just a kid going, everybody turn around. <laughs> <laughs> just eight, 18 cars. <laughs> oh, fuck. When I was at the beach all weekend, um, no one bothered me. Literally no one. Oh, really? I mean, not one kid came and asked for a picture. And the minute you showed up and Natalie showed up, it was like all these kids came around. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, <laughs> you think one of them would recognize me? Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, it was it, interesting. Maybe you're like, and then to myself, I was like, well, they probably just didn't want to bother me with my kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what it is. I think that's what it is. <laughs> no, I don't think that's what it is. A hundred percent. Because I saw some kid after you left and I had seen him all weekend long and he came up to me he's like is David still here? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like no he left he's like you're lying? I'm like I'm not lying he left he's gone I mean, they think you're lying that's the worst because I try to be chill with everybody that's funny <laughs> the other day uh, the other day we talked about um, about my, my type being Latinas under 5 foot 5 uh -huh. just all over Twitter like all these like Latina girls under 5 foot 5 <laughs> Like one of the girls was like, she was like, I'm five foot eight, but I will cut off my ankles. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and I wanted to, wanted to address that real quick, guys. It does not matter how tall you are. It's all that matters.